Hello guys, and welcome to another installment of A Computers and Technology. I'm just wrapping up a super fun project. The polyurethane I applied to the wood is still drying outside in my garage, and that should be done in a couple hours, and I can get some awesome B-roll of this Nixie tube clock. But as you can tell from the title, I am building another Nixie tube clock. I built um, a Nixie tube clock, I want to say last year. It might have been two years ago, um, and I had a lot of fun putting that thing together, and it came out absolutely beautiful. I just just love Nixie tubes and Nixie tube clocks. Um, hopefully in the future I can do something else with some Nixie tubes, a project here and there, uh, maybe even build a calculator. But I put together this Nixie tube clock for one of my friends. His birthday's coming up and I thought, hey, this would make a really awesome gift and it's fun for me because I get to build it. So I got this off eBay for 40 bucks. It's a really easy to put together kit. It doesn't have any surface mounted components, so it's all through hole soldering. Um, the big issue with the first kit that I got uh, was that it wasn't really friendly to beginners as far as soldering is concerned. Uh, there was a lot of surface mounted components and it made things a little hard. It was holding the tweezers and trying to put stuff on top of the board um, and it was just a pain. So it wasn't really friendly to people who were just getting into soldering. However, this kit is, it's all through hole components, uh, just a handful of resistors, capacitors, uh, a couple LEDs, and of course you have your chips to drive the Nixie tubes and the Nixie tubes themselves, but overall this kit was very easy to assemble and it was a ton of fun. It took me a total of I believe three hours to assemble the Nixie clock itself, um, and then another two hours to actually um, to finish up the wood and put the stand together and then it took me uh, actually two days to paint the thing not paint the thing but apply polyurethane uh, over the wood and it just took that long because it takes a long time for the polyurethane to dry I'm using an oil-based polyurethane and I cannot wait to see how it's gonna come out now, if you're not a huge fan of the cheaper four digit clock, they also sell a more expensive six digit clock, like the one that I have on my desk. Um, and I actually do have that one back in storage. So that's for another occasion, and I will be putting that one together within the next month. So expect a video on that one. Uh, I will put the link to both the clocks down in the description. And yes, the six digit version is also completely through hole soldering. So that's also a great beginner clock to put together. Now what I really like about this clock is that it has a lot more functionality and it's actually a lot easier to use than the one that I put together a year ago. It has a built-in alarm clock function, it has uh, power backup so if you lose power it still keeps time for a couple days, uh, has a super capacitor on the board. Um, and then it also has three buttons unlike my other clock which makes setting it uh, and manipulating the settings a lot easier. My other clock only has one button and that one button is in charge of manipulating several functions and using it is just very hard. Setting it is very hard but thanks to the fact that these clocks actually have three buttons to manipulate the settings, well that makes things a lot easier. For the base, I want to go with a very dark wood to complement the black PCB of the clock. So I hit an exotic wood seller on eBay, I scrolled through what the guy had, and I found something called Macassar Ebony, and this wood just popped out to me. It was a very dark wood, uh, had a very unique pattern, it looked absolutely beautiful to me, and I thought it would uh, be a great complement to the clock. So I bought it. It was definitely a bit pricey. Uh, it was 25 bucks for a four foot, um, four inch wide plank, uh, one fourth inches thick. Um, so I'm gonna be able to use this for this clock and the other clock that I'm planning to build though. And I just pulled the final product inside, mounted it to, uh, or mounted the clock to it, and it just looks great. You guys are gonna get to see it in just a second. Um, but as far as creating the base was concerned, I kept it simple. I'm not some master woodworker or anything, so I knew I wasn't going to be able to make anything mind-blowing. I cut off a piece of wood that was approximately the same size as the acrylic box that I was using, and then I cut off a couple smaller pieces of the ebony to glue around the uh, wooden plank that I was mounting the clock to just to hold the acrylic box in place. That way the uh, uh, acrylic box isn't moving all over the base, um, so that's held snugly in place by a couple pieces of well-placed ebony. I'm actually going to 
do things a little differently next time I build the clock. I want the front of the clock to be completely obstructed or unobstructed, actually. I don't want anything in front of the clock. Um, right now, I have one random piece of wood there, and it looks a little bit weird. Next time, I'm going to build it so that one little piece of wood is not there. Finally, to top everything off, I coated the base in three layers of polyurethane, and I drilled holes in the back of the acrylic box for the power cable. And that's where things went horribly wrong because unfortunately the first time I drilled the hole, I measured it in the wrong place. Um, so that was a little bit embarrassing. And then when I went back to drill the new hole, I put a crack in the acrylic box. This acrylic case is much thinner uh, than the one I ordered for my previous Nixie clock. Um, so I wasn't expecting that and I slipped, the case cracked and there's nothing I can do about it now. Uh, the back of the case just looks absolutely horrific, unfortunately. Um, but you're not gonna be looking at the back of the case, thank goodness. Um, so not too big of a deal. And if I really want to, I can go back, buy another acrylic case, drill the hole again, uh, and give it to my friend after I give him this uh, Nixie clock tomorrow. So that's not too big of a deal, um, but it was definitely somewhat frustrating because this almost turned out, for the most part, um, to go pretty smoothly. Despite a couple small imperfections here and there, for the most part, in my opinion, the clock came out pretty well. Now, keep in mind, I am not a professional woodworker, so if you have any tips for me, please leave them down in the comments section. And really, building this four-digit Nixie clock was just a trial run for building the six-digit Nixie clock. Because I wasn't really too concerned with how this one came out. I mean, my friend's going to like it either way. Um, but the six-digit Nixie clock is going to be for my dad. And I would prefer that that clock come out nearly perfect. Now, the six-digit Nixie clock is going to be um, hopefully much better. I have some brass accent pieces coming in. So hopefully that will help it stand out a little bit more. And I do have a slightly different design in my Mind, um, concerning the wooden base so building that's going to be um, interesting as well and once again that build should be coming up within the next couple weeks that's going to be about it for this video if you guys have any questions comments or concerns go ahead and post a comment down in the comment section don't forget to drop a like on this video if you didn't like this video please tell me why and of course please do not forget to subscribe to the youtube channel if you want to check out anything that i used here today in this video besides the stuff that i bought from home depot i bought the uh, polyurethane um, and bright rushes from Home Depot, but if you want to check out anything else, um, I will put the link to everything down in the description. And before I end this, I uh, just want to say don't forget to drop a like on the Facebook page, and thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next installment of A Computers and Technology. Thank you.